my channel. I'm sorry, I did say I was only gonna be gone one week, but I ended up being gone two weeks. Why I ever thought moving while pregnant was a good idea, uh, I don't know. This has been the most stressful two weeks I've had in a long time. Not only do you guys know that I'm expecting in June, but moving all of my stuff from a two bedroom to a three bedroom has been chaotic. And not to mention, I ended up getting sick. So I had this awful cold. I still have this awful cold, but I could not wait one more week to film this video because so much has gone on. I'm in shock. Okay, so not only am I going to recap a little bit in this video, but I'm so tempted to tell you guys the crazy spoilers that I know about this season. Not only do I know who wins, but like I know so much drama, it's unreal. And I wanna share it with you guys so bad, but I also kinda don't. So I also don't wanna be that person to spoil it for you. It's seriously crazy. So let's just get started. So first and foremost, I am so shocked that Tia's gone. I legitimately thought Tia was in it to win it. I thought that Ari really liked Tia and I thought their connection was so strong. Honestly, you guys, just don't listen to me. Whenever I make my predictions in the beginning of the season, I just think the opposite because I swear to you, I'm always wrong. I'm never right. I'm always so far off. So the group is in Peru and it is the Fantasy Suite Dates Week, which is, you know, as you guys know, very important. And Kendall is the first one up. They go dune buggy. I think that's what it's called. It is a perfect date for Kendall because it's very like outdoorsy and adventurous and you know, kind of like her. I'm just, I'm shocked though. I'm shocked Kendall is there because she was the one that was so hesitant about being engaged, which I know like she's probably speaking really reasonable here. Not really sure if she wants to get engaged to the guy that she's known for six weeks. Although you go on the show knowing that like most of these end in an engagement. So I'm not a huge Kendall fan and I've never been a huge Kendall fan. I am very surprised that she's still here and Tia is gone. During their whole date, she was telling us that she was super anxious and she wasn't sure if she was going to accept the fantasy suite because she didn't really know if that's the right thing to do. She didn't even know if she wanted to be married to him. I guess Ari says all the right words because it relaxes her and it tells her that she just feels like she's in a much better spot and so she does accept the date and they spend the night together and they talk a lot or something like that and they just they seem really happy though I can't remember if Ari told every single girl that he loved them or was falling in love with them I'm pretty sure it was one or the other however Ari made it seem like he was really feeling Kendall the next one on one date is with Lauren B. And Lauren B, I gotta be honest, is probably my least favorite girl on the show. I think she's such a bore, you guys. I watched their dates and I'm on my phone scrolling Instagram. And I've already told you guys, Ari's like kind of weird and a little bit quiet and then she is. Like I could never imagine going on a double date with them. I would crawl underneath the table and take a nap. They are just too monotone for me. So he takes her up in a plane and they go look at this thing called the Nazca Lines. The whole entire time she's all in her head. You know that she's literally having a conversation with herself and Ari's just there looking at her and she's just smiling. That would make me freaking crazy. She does express to Ari that she's afraid of getting hurt. She knows that potentially she can go home. So she creates this barrier so that she doesn't show and express her emotions fully. But what was crazy is that she said she needs to feel like she's the only girl left in order to feel comfortable, which is asking a lot considering you're not the only girl left. There's two other girls he's got great connections with. And what do you know? This idiot says that he loves her. Like, did we not learn anything from Ben? Ben told Jojo and Ben told Lauren B, ironically, same name, that he loved them both. And what do you know? It was like this huge controversy. And I get it. You can't tell two different people that you love them and only pick one of them. Ari has been saying this whole entire season, like, I'm falling for you too. But no, he's flat out saying, I love you or I love you too. Are you guys in a full on relationship right now? I mean, they literally said it a thousand times. And of course, like, she seems like she's on top of the world. The last one on one date is obviously with Becca, and they go on this catamaran. I don't know, I kind of felt like he wasn't as excited to see Becca as he typically is. Maybe it's because he just told another girl that he was in love with her the entire date. Something was a little bit off. Becca seemed to be so excited about him, which made me really sad. And then she ended up telling Ari that it was after hometowns that she just realized she loved him. And then what do you know, this idiot says he loves her too. Not even just falling in love with Becca, but 
He was in love with Becca. So they have this incredible date and Becca also feels on top of the world because she's probably like, wow, what progress we made. Like Ari just told me he loved me. I hate to see Becca's face when she watches this episode. But after their one-on-one -on -one date, Ari's in his room and uh, Becca's ex shows up in Peru because he's going to win Becca back. That seems like um, some serious, what is the word? Not dedication. Mm. That seems like some serious persistence on her ex's part. I don't think I have any ex that would go to Peru. I don't even think my husband <laughs> would come after me in Peru. He'd be like, nah, you're good, bye. So he comes all the way to Peru to try and propose to Becca. Although he did make his first stop to go see Ari and tell Ari that he's in love with her and that there was something there and you know, it was really awkward. So when he goes to see Becca, he's just pouring his heart out and she's just, she's not having it. She's obviously over their relationship. It's donezo. Nice try buddy, you're too late. I felt bad for her though, cause I know she felt like the day was ruined. You know, like she had this fantastic date with Ari and now maybe that put so much doubt in Ari's head, which I totally understand. And I know Ari's super uncomfortable because he doesn't know how Becca really feels. You know, the fact that this guy came a million miles to come and try and win her back. You know, who knows? Was she thinking about it? Is she still thinking about it? Like, is she just kind of confused? It's, it was a big fear for him. However, not big enough because Becca gets a rose, Lauren B gets a rose, and he lets Kendall go. So, I don't even want to say that I'm so excited for next episode because I already know what happens. And I'm not going to spoil it on here because that would just be so wrong. However, let me just tell you guys, after the final rose, whoa, it is going to go down. I don't know if you guys watched The Women Tell All. That's a really big clue. I'll tell you that. One of the girls, I can't remember her name, she said, I know what you did, Ari. So actually, little FYI, my husband looked it up because he was curious what that actually meant. He said to me, he's like, Lindsay, wait till you find out what happens. It's pretty freaking crazy. And I was like, no, I don't want to know. And then one minute I tell him, tell me. And the next minute I say, don't tell me. Well, then all of a sudden I got a text message from my girlfriend and she said, do you know what Ari did? And I said, no, but Jake knows. She's like, it's nuts. So I'm like, no, no, just tell me. I have to know. I found out. I Googled it for proof. That is real, legit, 100% true things that have gone on. It's so bad, you guys. You'll not look at Ari the same. Let me just tell you that. You're not gonna look at anyone the same after you know what happens. I'm so excited to talk about it with you guys. What, like one more week? So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry again that I was a little MIA, but I will be back for that finale and after the final rose because we got a lot to talk about. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do post videos every single week. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Who do you guys think is going to win Ari's heart? Do you think they're gonna be engaged? Do you think that they're not gonna be engaged? Let me know what you feeling. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.